A traveling circus accidentally unleashes the Jersey Devil onto a small town and all hell breaks loose. It stars Lou Diamond Phillips as Sheriff Atlas, who's checking out the freak show when a star attraction breaks free and begins its reign of terror. Yeah? Yeah? Ain't so tough. I guess he's Taylor made to be a douche because his name is Taylor. Atlas's hunt for the creature leads him into conflict with a psychotic, money-hungry circus owner, Cap, and the equally obsessive pastor out for revenge. Then, slamming spotlight. In movies like these, bad guys are often driven to murder through greed. Here, it's Caprini's answer to everything. Let's shine the man slamming spotlight on Cap, the cutthroat ringmaster. We can have ourselves. I don't think that's good business practice. Then, slamming clothesline. When bodies start piling up, Atlas naturally has to organize a hunting party and rally the troops. It's just flesh and blood. It might look like the devil boys, but it bleeds. And if it bleeds, we can kill it. Looks like somebody's been watching Predator. Now for the top three signature moves. Top three signature moves. Number three, the eye of the beholder. Talk about an eyesore. Second, the cap stabber. If he's within five miles, he'll smell the blood and come running. What blood? Even with one eye, he should have seen that coming. And finally, the finisher, the Jersey Devil drop toe hold. I'm just so glad you're alive. You're my baby boy. I've heard of dropping a kid off, but this is ridiculous. Other highlights include Taylor dying under a bridge like the troll he was, the pastor brutally cutting out Cap's tongue, and Cap's weird victory yell after knocking out the creature. Not sure what the fuck was that. Carney was a pretty entertaining creature horror flick with an appropriately cool backdrop of a traveling freak show circus. Lou Diamond Phillips made a terrific though underdeveloped lead and I enjoyed the three-way conflict between him, Cap, and the pastor which led to some unexpected violence. He just got capped. There are plenty of gory creature kills, but I felt the ones that deserved it the most unfortunately happened off screen. I was also shocked that just about everyone died and there was no retribution for all the innocent carnies that were viciously targeted by the town. On the Van Slamage meter, I give it three out of five masks. Worth the price of admission. Van Slamage tagging. When you have the opportunity to save a psychic from a bloodthirsty creature, you have to drop a one-liner. Here's an example. Now let's slamify it with the Van Slammers tag in. Here, need a lift? Thanks for joining me for Jack Van Slam vs. Carney. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, what your favorite moments were, and be sure to click that like and subscribe for more ridiculousness and more Slammerang movie reviews. There may be a problem with that. How's that? I'm arresting you for murder. What?